So this is a pair I bought on uh, resale because I didn't get on the retail version and uh, it was a really difficult one to get at the time and it's the uh, Nike SB Dunk uh, Haritos so it comes in the Phantom Safety Orange and the, this pair thankfully I'm sort of a smaller size but uh, it still cost me pretty much I think twice as much as the retail price or maybe slightly more than that and uh, I'm kind of glad I got them for now anyway and even if I don't keep them I can always sort of sell them on but it is a nice trainer at the end of the day and it's got some really cool uh, highlights to it and with uh, the leather quality I don't think it's uh, that amazing it feels quite actually saying that it feels quite sort of thick uh, in terms of its uh, appearance and see from the toe box it's quite sort of uh, on the sort of soft side as well so I, or maybe I'll take that back maybe it's actually pretty good it just feels a bit more uh, solid in terms of its paint uh, structure because usually you see sort of wrinkles going down it so maybe that's not really a sign of uh, the paintwork and then also the burlap material going around the sneaker is different to other sneakers that you see and that's also nice it feels quite sort of rough to the touch and then you've got the, Her the Haritos jug uh, there uh, there as well and then the, the logo itself i don't remember seeing too much sort of harito stuff here in the uk but uh even even though i, I have not really ha had that product before um for me it's uh, just a cool looking shoe you know and also they were hyped at the time as well so maybe i bought into the hype a little bit as well but obviously you, you can remove the this material and the swoosh as well and it reveals like orange paneling around here so which is nice and uh, just a, another sort of SB type signature touch really and uh, just a, a cool pair and then you see inside as well the insole's got the Haritos branding on there as well and then out the outside I kind of like this a lot as well because this pivot point they've kind of made it that slightly sort of different color and same with the the Phylon uh, midsole area and it's just a really cool uh, looking sneaker and I do like it a lot and it's uh, one pair that just sort of spiked up in value uh, really really quickly and uh, just really hard to get and I think this and the um, Born and Raised are the ones that are probably going to spike up a lot a lot in terms of price and then followed on by the I suppose Crenshaw and then the Uto. So here are the details with the SB Dunk Low Haritos. It comes in a Phantom and Safety Orange colorway. And it has a uh, in insole with a Zoom AirPod in the heel and also a pour on foam bed in the forefoot. And this is made up of all suede, burlap and leather upper. So the burlap is the uh, almost like shopping bag material. And the price is £110. So with the comfort and sizing, these have a sort of more on the in my opinion the medium firm so much like any other SB Dunk and don't expect sort of plush comfort but it's still okay on foot it's not like a bad shoe to wear and because of the tech that's in there I think they're more comfortable than a standard Dunk and I'd say you need about 3 to 10 hours for the uh, materials to soften and once they do it feels even better on foot and I would also recommend going up half size pretty much for everyone because of the thicker materials that are inside and you get a, a bit of a fat tongue as well so for me, I, I tend to just go up half size with these and they feel perfect. And the traction is good on these, it's not perfect and uh, you will uh, wear them out a lot quicker than sort of other pairs of trainers in my opinion. So with the look and style, I like the spring summer colour palette on this, it's like a majority of it's white. And then you've got the burlapy sort of brown beige colour and the green hits on there with the orange. And obviously if you like uh, cut away at the sneaker, you'll probably reveal more of the sort of orange colour that's underneath. And the SB Dunk is a, is a classic in my opinion, and I think this particular pair will, will, will remain a classic. And you can sort of wear them all seasons in my opinion, because even though they've got a spring summer colour palette, there's no reason why you couldn't wear them during the autumn winter. But I think with this pair you kind of want to take extra care of it because of the value that it's worth now. And it's another sneaker that you can wear casual and smart casual because of the, the sort of simple colour blocking. And uh, you can go with sort of sail laces in this as well, I think, and orange would work, and green, and obviously white. I like the um, great uh, co-branding co that's been on, on the sneaker. It's uh, really well done, in my opinion. It's not like overly uh, exaggerated for one brand or the other. 
and obviously the hidden layers that are underneath these as well with the orange hits it's just really cool and just a neat idea and the burlap material was very sort of thick as well and it's a good shoe for sort of spring summer time in my opinion in terms of cons it's just mainly sp dunks in general they're just not very you know like plus comfort i guess uh, but it's just sort of standard stuff so the ratings on this, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give the look of style 5 out of 5. There's nothing really sort of wrong with the sneaker in terms of its colour blocking and the sort of almost neutral colourway. And like I said, you've got the, the added bonus of uh, removing the burlap material to reveal the hidden layers underneath. And the comfort, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5. It's uh, the same as any other SP Dunk. Nothing to shout about. Quality on these, I think it's a five. Like the leather, like it's not premium, premium leather, but it's still very nice. And the way that it's been constructed is really nice. And the pricing as well, I'm going to give that a five. And that, the quality and pricing go hand in hand. And SP Dunks, in my opinion, because the price that you're paying is very, very low. And overall, I give the score a five out of five. I think, again, it's another classic SP Dunk that was released in uh, 2023 and definitely one to, to add to the arsenal.